Hey guys, welcome to our YouTube channel. Today we are going to solve our skill track daily challenge using Python programming language. Before going to logic, if you didn't subscribe to our channel, then subscribe right now and make our work more meaningful. First, we'll understand our question. The program has to accept the integer m and n and the names of the m officers along with their experience and names of n officers along with their experience and the integer x which represents the size of the team to be formed as the inputs and now at least two persons should have been selected from each team. The more experienced candidates are preferred then if two or more candidates have same experience then we must sort based on their names and select. Finally, the program must print the names of the candidates. So now we'll take our first test case. So here we have four teams and here we have three teams. So first we'll sort them based on their experience. So it is CDE, DEF, BCD and ABC. And then we'll sort these teams based on their experience so here two have same experience so we'll sort based on their name so we got this and now the required team should be uh, should have six but we'll take top two from each team so we have got 4 but we need 6 the remaining team are sorry the remaining names are bcd abc and efg so from this we are going to add two members to the required team so we'll take the first two names and add it to the required team that is bcd and abc So now we'll sort this based on the experience. So first we'll have CDE and then DEF and then we'll have BCD and then we have FGH and we have GHI and then we have ABC. So finally, this will be our output. Let us implement our program. First, we'll get our inputs. For that, we'll have two empty lists called as team A and team B. So these empty lists store the values of the name and the experience of each member. So and then we'll iterate over m times and get the inputs for team A and we'll trade, trade over n times and get the inputs for team B that is for CTR in range 1 so here in order to simplify the program we are getting the input in the loop itself that is 1 comma int of input of plus 1 and then 
we have name and the experience as the input dot split off and we'll just append it to the team a team a dot append of the name and experience so in a similar way we'll have for team b so here it is team b so we have got the inputs for team a and b and then now we'll get we'll have the integer x that is the total names and here we have the required team containing the <clears throat> top two names of team a and b so team a dot sort so we should sort them team a dot sort of key equal to lambda k k colon minus k of one that is name so k of minus one and k zero so which represents the experience in descending order and names in ascending order so we have sorted both the team a and team b that is experience in descending order and names in ascending order so now the required team is equal to team a colon 2 plus team b colon 2 which represents the top two teams of team a and team b so we'll sort this and now we have the remaining team where we'll have the remaining teams remaining members from team a and team b that is except the top two and we'll sort this so here it is remaining team so now the remaining team will be sorted and then Since we have to get the uh, x, we have now, for example, if we have x is 6 means we have got only 4. So in order to have the extra 2, we'll append it from the required team. Sorry, we'll append it from the remaining team. So it will be like x minus that is x minus 4 for example if x is 5 means then the top four, to 4 teams will be there and x minus 4 that is 5 minus 4 is 1 so one team from the remaining sorry one person from the remaining team will be added so we'll get the required team and then again We'll sort it. And finally, we'll print the names of the person. So for person in required team, we'll print person of zero. So here, this zero represents the names of the persons. So we'll have a quick recap. So first we have two empty list, team A and team B, and we'll append it to team A, team B, the names and the experience, and then we'll sort them based on the condition that is 
the experience in descending order and the names in ascending order and then we have the required team with the top two teams top two persons from team a and team b so required team will have four persons and now the remaining team will have the remaining members from team a and team b so we'll sort the remaining team and after that according to the according to the required x will have the remaining team appended with the required team and then again we will sort the required team and finally we will print the names of the persons now let us run our program with our first test case yes we have got the correct output as you can see we have got the names now we will pass our another test case here also we have got the correct output our program has passed all our given test cases successfully hope you guys understand thanks for watching see you next video